Hey everybody, this is Hadrian. Thanks for watching. Let's talk a little bit about the Civilization 5 tutorial and how it's going so far. This is going to be just a mini episode. I'm going to call it, I think, episode 7.5 if I'm getting the numbers correctly. It might be 8.5 depending on where I need to place this. Or it could be 6.5. Who knows? But I'm going to put it in wherever it needs to go so that people watching the tutorial in the future will see this right after the episode in which I needed to make this clarification. So. Uh, some comments have come up that are very, very good about embassies, and I want to point out a few things. First of all, I had a commenter point out that I made a an embassy agreement with Songhai, with Askia, but then since then, you know, with... Um, in this example, I've, I've loaded the game back up and I've got the, the offer from Poland up on the screen. He's making it to me in the same way he did in the main tutorial. Um, but in also in the future, uh, when we introduce... when we meet uh, Portugal, which you'll see... Um, I make a, a similar kind of rejection of, of embassies, and I want to kind of explain why that is. First of all, this is a tutorial. So when Askia offered to exchange embassies with me, I kind of was like, okay, let me, I feel like I need to show what happens when you accept an embassy, first and foremost. So that was my reasoning there. That's why I accepted it. Also, there was the notion that he was kind of close to me, and so I wanted to have a little bit of a relationship buffer, mainly because... It is unusual in a continent-based game, whether you're playing on a real-world map or otherwise, to have control of an entire continent from the start. And in this game, we have all of Africa. So all the decisions I've made with regard to my embassies have been motivated by the fact that I have this territory and I'm trying to protect it and think what's best for it. Um, so when I got this offer from Casimir, I was like, no, I don't want any, any embassy treaties. And I had a similar reaction to Portugal, which for those of you watching the series sequentially who haven't already seen the episodes after this, um, I will do the same with Portugal. And I just kind of say, no, I don't want an embassy because I don't want you to know where my capital is. I don't want you to come into my territory and start founding cities based on that information because the AI can do that. But... This leads me to a very important clarification of how the trade screen works because I did, in fact, misread the trade screen on multiple occasions. Hence this clarification, just so people watching the tutorial can not only know uh, in, from the last episode what needed to be corrected, but when it happens in the future, you know, oh, okay, that's what Hadrian was talking about. So right here where it says, accept embassy on the side of Casimir. I have misread that as... Casimir wanting to establish an embassy. He is, I've misread that as a proposal from him that I accept an embassy. That's not true. These are the things that Casimir will do. Whenever you see a trade screen, no matter what's on it, whether it's an embassy or not, these are the things that that side is agreeing to do. So this side is try, is proposing that they accept an embassy. So this whole thing with Casimir and with uh, Maria of Portugal, where I've said, no, I don't want them to see where my capital is. It was incorrect. I was just misreading the screen uh, out of a, as one commenter called it, kind of an automatic impulse because, as I mentioned, I don't want embassy deals with these um, civilizations. I know from past experience that they have a tendency to, especially when they do one-sided deals like this, where maybe they would be proposing that I accept an embassy, but it's not mutual, like the Songhai was. They wouldn't accept an embassy in return. That's when you can kind of tell, okay, the AI is trying to get information. They want to know where I am. So anyway, that's a lot of words. I didn't want this to be too long of, uh, of an episode, but I just w really wanted to clarify for those of you watching the series live, but especially for those of you who are watching the series after I've completed it, that's what's going on with the embassies. And I just wanted to make sure that that was absolutely clear. So anyway, if you have any questions on that, as always, feel free to leave comments, especially if you are watching the series live. Again, this video is happening because of people commenting on it. Pretty cool, right? So we get to make this an interactive experience and we get to make this as good of a tutorial as possible because of the interactive experience. So thank you very much to those of you who have asked about the embassies and my thinking and why I am accepting embassies in certain situations and rejecting them in other cases. And thank you also to the commenter who pointed out that uh, th that I misread that screen because I totally did. <laughs> so anyway, it's already happened once. It'll happen, I think, one more time with Poland after this video if you're watching this in sequence. And then it's going to happen with Por Portugal in a few episodes as well. So keep an eye out for that and just know that, oops, that's going to happen. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next episode.